Hey there, Philos here. This video is going to be on the skills that I use as I'm leveling from 1 to 70. So, get a lot of newer players that are asking, you know, what kind of build should I use while I'm leveling. Really and truly, there is not like one best build per se to use while leveling. However, there are some abilities that are going to be really strong compared to others when you're first starting out, when you're lacking loot. There are going to be certain abilities that are going to shine. So here we have the build that I use. Once I hit about level 45, all of these abilities are available. And at that point, you're basically in the spec that you're going to use all the way up. So the highest ability here that's unlocked is the Evasive Fire with Focus, which you unlock at level 42. So once you're at level 42, you're pretty much going to be in this build and just take this up to level 70 and then depending on what kind of loot you get you can kind of take it from there and shift into some other build but this is going to be really strong starting out initially once you hit 42 you'll have all these abilities and you'll be able to just kind of run with that before 42 there are going to be some certain levels that you're going to unlock certain abilities that you're definitely going to want to switch to and take advantage of so I'm going to cover that now how to progress from 1 up to 42 to work into this build here you first start out you really everything automatically gets slotted until you hit level 5 so whenever you reach level 5 you unlock rapid fire and the game is gonna have impale selected for you so at this point you're gonna want to switch the impale to the rapid fire so you can see here reach level 5 yeah, rapid fire has been unlocked. This is going to be much stronger than Impale. You're going to want to pick that up as soon as possible as your spender. So you'll see we're coming up on level 9 here, which is good for the Demon Hunter because you get Vault. Vault's going to be really good early on for the mobility. Obviously, I mean, it's just good all the way through. It's nice that you get it early, level 9. It's also nice because at level 9 you get a new active skill slot so you can see here it's just automatically going to slot vault in for you when you hit level 9 so here you can see I hit level 12 and at this point this is where you're going to want to switch from rapid fire to the chakram and initially you don't have a rune until level 18 you're not going to get a rune but it's still a really strong ability unruned it's very cheap on hatred, has a large area, does a lot of damage. And you can pretty much run Chakram all the way up. Yeah, it's one of the really strong abilities with little amounts of gear. So at level 11, you unlock Bola Shot, which the generator hardly matters. You don't really use it that often, so it's not that big of a deal one way or another. But the Bola Shot's nice because it has the additional area. It's going to explode and do that area damage. So it's nice for the AoE. So I do switch to that. Things to mention, at level 10, you do unlock the first passive. And this is automatically going to pick up tactical advantage for you, which is fine until you get to level 13. At level 13, I usually recommend you take Blood Vengeance instead of tactical advantage. And then once you're at level 20, you can pick up tactical advantage as your second passive. So we got the Bola Shot. The other thing is at level 13 you're going to unlock Preparation. This ability is good obviously for the Discipline Generation. It's going to help you spam your Tumble more when you're running around doing bounties and stuff. You want to have that mobility. So you can see I switched Caltrops there to Preparation. For level 13 once you have Preparation Vault generator and a spender you're almost into a, a normal build here you know you have your mobility you have your generator you have your spender and you have your discipline generation as well at level 14 you're gonna unlock a new active skill slot and you can see it automatically just put fan of knives down there and at this level there's nothing really valuable that you can put in there um, you can run rapid fire like for the single target or something like that I just left it with the fan for the time being. Doesn't really matter. It's free cooldown ability. It does some damage. It's kind of nice. 
Um, but eventually you would like to change that to your sentry. As I mentioned, at level 25 you're going to unlock the sentry and you're going to want to put that there. And then also at level 14 you're going to unlock the volatile explosives for the bola shot rune. So that's going to increase the explosion radius to 20 yards. And just increase the area damage. You're going to want to pick that up for your generator. Until you can get one of the generators that generates 6 hatred per attack, you're going to want to just run with that. And those 6 hatred per attack generators aren't available until Serrated Arrow at level 17 and Thunderball at 24. Either of those are going to be good for the hatred generation. As far as new abilities are concerned, we're waiting on Sentry at 25. We do have some runes that are going to unlock along the way. We're going to kind of make note of those. Hardly worth mentioning, but at level 16 you do get Action Shot. You can go ahead and switch your Vault rune to Action Shot. Doesn't really make a big difference, but it's available. You're going to want to go ahead and swap that in at 16. And at level 18, you're going to get the Rune Twin Chakram for your Chakram ability. You're going to want to take that immediately. It's going to be the strong spender to carry you all the way up to level 70. And even into Torment at level 70, the Chakram, in terms of hatred, cost to the damage potential, without considering resource reduction, this is going to be one of the strongest, if not the strongest ability. So... Twin Chakram is really good all the way up. So at level 19, you're going to unlock the Invigoration Rune for preparation. This is going to increase your maximum discipline by 15. This is going to be really good for leveling up because it's really hard to get bonus discipline on your gear when you're a low level. And it's nice to have an increased discipline pool. You get the new active skill slot, but again, there's not really much worth putting in there at this point. As I mentioned, you get the rune for preparation, but the two active skill slots, three and four, are not really doing much for you until you're able to get the Spitfire Sentry and the Bat Companion. So you can see I'm going to switch Invigoration here, and then we're waiting for more levels. And again, for those two slots, you can put Rapid Fire in there for one of them. It's good for single target, but the value is minimal, so it hardly makes a difference. So here we are at level 25. This is where you get the Sentry, Active Skill, and you're able to switch one of your three or four abilities to Sentry. I'm going to drop the Rapid Fire and pick up the Sentry. And you're waiting on the Spitfire turret at 28. And the Phantom Knives, again, just kind of a placeholder for now. So we're kind of getting into an actual build here. You can see I was looking at Frost Arrow, kind of considering it, which I did play with it a little bit, but the Twin Chakram is just so much better. And here we are hitting 28. As I mentioned, this is when you get the rune for the turret, Spitfire Sentry. It's going to be really good at lower levels when you're under geared. It's a nice investment. You place the sentry. You know, it's cheap on resources. It has a little cooldown. You can have a few of them, and they're going to do lots of extra damage. You don't really have to spend actively to do that. So it's really good when you're trying to progress. And you're lacking gear. Sentry with the Spitfire turret It's quite strong. And 29, this is where you get your bat companion. So this is where finally you have a reason to get rid of the Phantom Knives. So you switch the Phantom Knives for the bat companion for the extra hatred generation. It's going to be nice, again, just to kind of help you spam. There's really nothing else that you're going to put there that's going to add value other than the bat companion. So... Here we are at level 30. This is where you get a third passive skill slot. And 
There's nothing really, really strong available at this point. You can pick up either Steady Aim or Night Stalker. Either of those are going to be good. The one that I like isn't available until level 40, and that's going to be Custom Engineering. It's going to increase the duration on your sentries, allow you to have a third one. It's really good. Again, as I mentioned, the sentries are strong for progressing with limited amounts of gear. They are an investment. You drop them down, they do a bunch of damage, basically for free and increasing the duration and having an additional sentry is going to be really strong starting out. So here we are hitting 33. At 33 you unlock Tumble. This is going to be the standard rune to run on your vault so you're going to want to switch to that. The resource reduction from casting it twice is going to be really good. And again just to help you with the mobility moving around. So yeah, I mean, from there, 33 plus, 34, there's really not much changing all the way up until you get some items that might influence your skill choices. That's the abilities that I use to progress initially starting out. These are going to be the strong abilities. So this is the build that you'll have once you get to level 33. And then from there, there's only a few tweaks that you're looking forward to changing. Um, the evasive fire is really good. At 42, you're going to unlock this. And that's good because it gives you 7 hatred per attack. It's going to be better than 6. The bowler shot with the thunderball is good. It gives you 6 hatred and has AoE. So either one of those is fine, really. doesn't matter. And then the passives. As I mentioned, once you get to level 40, you can pick up custom engineering. And then at level 70... This last passive, I mean, awareness is going to be pretty standard to avoid that death. If you're not really worried about dying or whatever, you can pick up some other damage modifier. Ballistics is really good. Perfectionist maybe for the EHP. As I mentioned earlier, Night Stalker and Steady Aim are really good. So you could just fit in one of those. Night Stalker is going to be really nice for the extra hatred and Steady Aim for the damage. Ballistics also for the damage, and then as I mentioned, Awareness. Definitely going to be standard on Hardcore. You're going to want to run Awareness all the time. No questions asked. So That's pretty much it, guys. I mean, yeah, from there, you're just waiting on drops to kind of influence your build. And, you know, there are a lot of things that are going to work, just because these are the abilities that I find the strongest as I'm leveling doesn't necessarily mean that you can't use some other combination of abilities and end up doing just as well. It's not that important. This is just kind of a reference for newer players that aren't familiar with all the abilities. They can kind of use this as a guideline of what abilities to try to aim toward using kind of thing. So that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.